The technique uh, worked somewhat, uh, except the fact that uh, some of the birds actually fly away and uh, you had to be running uh, after the birds. Sometimes they run and then suddenly they come back and they make you quick turns and you're not able to uh, record very good calls uh, of the birds, uh, depending on the species. Vocalizations are critical because insectivorous bats use vocal signals to find flying insects. And different species of birds are able to call at different frequencies and on the basis of those frequencies we are able to identify them. If we have a, a call library of different species of birds, then that can be used to study birds, remotely record their calls, and that information should be fed, will, will be fed into management strategies for Kenyan habitats, Kenyan reserves, Kenyan parks. parks. Kenya supports more than 105 species of bats and we know very little about their distribution, their status, their abundance, their food habits, their roles in ecological systems. And it's important that we learn about them because they represent a quarter of all mammal species that live in Kenya. Other than uh, bat calls, which we are recording to study ecology, distribution and so on, we have a voucher specimen with the genetic samples for understanding its relationships to other bat species. We have uh, tissue samples for looking at pathogens. We have ectoparasites. We have fecal samples for understanding diets. And for, for us to be able to monitor, to identify them, uh, to confirm their identities, we have to go further than just uh, relying on metrics or even their calls. Uh, we have to go further than that and be able to tell them apart using DNA. All of these pieces of information put together offer a much more complete view of Kenya's bat diversity than we've ever had before.